This is Rossman. He is a procrastinator. He loves to do work at the very last minutes. He would rather enjoy wasting time with his colleague than completing his assignment on time. One day, he's about to submit his assignment and he asks his friend Mamu about the due date of the submission, as he get confused about the exact date because there are two consecutive dates stated in the e-learning. He texted Mamu to clarify things. However, Mamu is not sure when is the exact due date. He suggested to Rossman to submit it due to the furthest due date. Rossman just agree without arguing. Unfortunately, when Rossman submit the assignments the tutor told him that it should be submitted due to the earlier date. He became panicked and asked Mamu once again. Unfortunately Mamu told him that he submitted his assignment in the earlier date because he is going back to hometown soon. The moral of the story is we should be sensitive and we should not rely on one person only. Instead, we may ask other colleagues to clarify things. Besides that, we should pay more attention to the lecturer so that we won't miss the information from the lecturer. Now we move to second case. By looking at the picture, we can see a couple is walking and their classmate Annie saw them. Then she thought that they are officially a couple even though Fazari and Fadiha are best friends. Annie likes to judge the book by its cover feel very exited to spread the story to their classmate. From this situation, we learned that we must not easily judge people without solid evidence. The truth is that Fazari and Fadiha are going to the library for group meeting. They need to decide on how to finish their group assignment. After witnessing the incident, Annie rushed back to the classroom to tell her story. She did not even bother to ask Fazari about his relationship with Fadiha. All her classmate believe her and a problem is arising between Fazari and Fadiha. Fadiha already has a boyfriend and the story reaches to her boyfriend. Fadiha and her boyfriend had a fight because he thought Fadiha was playing with him by finding her a new boyfriend. All this started because one person which is Annie who did not clarify the real situation and made her own judgment. Miscommunication happens when instructions are not given clearly and directly. For an example, this is a situation where Harry arrived at Subang Sky Park and needs someone to fetch him. So he called Gary to inform that he's already arrived at the airport and needs someone to fetch him. However Harry didn't tell Gary that was supposed to fetch Harry at Subang Airport while on the other hand, Gary thought that he was supposed to fetch Harry at Kuala Lumpur International Airport because he used to him there. Gary then straight away went to Clio without any doubt. After a few hours waiting for Harry at the airport, Gary decided to call Harry to ask where is he because Gary was waiting for Harry for so long and can't find him. Later, Harry told Gary that he forgot to tell Gary that this time he arrives at Subang Sky Park and not Kuala Lumpur International Airport. So, through this case we can see that miscommunication occurs when information is not clearly state. As a solution at the earlier of the conversation Harry should tell Gary where is the exactly place that Gary should come and fetch him as there is more that on one airport in that particular area. Furthermore, this matter need to be clarified by Gary by asking Harry where the exact location to avoid miscommunication occurs. Hence, this can also save Gary's time by not rushing to two places at a time. Therefore, instruction should be passed directly and clearly to avoid miscommunication from happening. Now we move to the last case. This is a between a lecturer and Ali. The first scene happens in the lecturer room, the lecturer asked Ali to help him to go to the examination unit to book a test venue for him. His instruction is as stated, lecturer, hey Ali, can you do me a favor? Ali then responded, yeah, yeah sure. But may I know what is it sir? Lecturer, Ali. I need you to go to examination unit by today before 3 p.m. I need you to meet Mr. Romani the person in charge for Mulity Purpose Hall 2 to book the venues so that I can conduct test 1 tomorrow starting at 9 a.m. in the morning. Do not forget also to tell him that duration for the test is 1 hour and 30 minutes and remind him to open the test room I hour before the test hour begin. In the second scene, took place in the classroom. Ali suddenly remember that he has lab till 12 p.m. in the noon. So Ali decided to get help from Verwan to book the multi-purpose hall 2 for test 1 as being told by the lecturer. His instruction is, bro, could you please help me for today only? 
I need you to go to examination unit and try to meet Mr. Romani the person in charge for multi-purpose hall 2 to book the venue for test 1 which begin at 9 am in the morning. By the way please do it by today. Thanks bro. Now, we moving to the third scene. The place is at the V4 cafe during lunch hour. Verwan suddenly remembered that he has Viva presentation after the lunch. In a hurry, he called his best friend, Kalabaka. Verwan, hey Kalabaka, this is me Verwan. Kalabaka, hey, what's up dude? Verwan, I need you to go to the examination unit by today and book multi-purpose hall 2 for me. You have to meet someone over there where I forgot his name is and tell him that the test 1 will be conduct tomorrow at 9 am in the morning. Kalabaka reply, chill bro, it is okay. I will settle everything on after this. Kalabaka is a person which likes to procrastinate things. He decided to go to the examination unit at 4 pm since the day is too hot. At the examination unit. At the reception, Kalabaka, I am sorry miss, may I book the multi-purpose hall 2 for tomorrow? The receptionist reply, I am sorry sir. I cannot entertain you anymore since the office closing early today. Kalabaka, but miss, this is an urgent thing and we all going to have test 1 tomorrow. Receptionist, I am sorry sir, I really cannot help you because this is the procedure. I cannot entertain any request that comes after 3 plus the person in charge for multi-purpose hall 2 is away at this time, maybe if you could come early just now maybe you can deal directly with him. Kalabaka shook his head with a moody face and he decided to go back. The next day tomorrow, Ali finding out that the test one have not been booked yet and he feels very disappointed with his friends. So he tell his lecturer that he have not booked the venue yet. The lecturer is very furious with Ali. In conclusion, the lesson of the story is, being a top management, we cannot rely on others to do the things that we feel important as it might risk us later on. While being the person who is responsible to carry out the job, we have to be transparent and give clear instruction even with our mates. This is because every information that you might know is very important. Each and single information that you know brings a major effect to the others.